Roll out the barrel. The 1954 jumping championship gets off to a bone-crunching start on the skating rink at Grossinger's New York. Regional champs from Europe, Canada, and the U.S. have a go at unseating the world's champion, but most of them end up unseating themselves. Lady Luck has got them over the barrel, but good. There'll be a lot of eating off the mantelpiece for the next few days. You've heard the expression, putting one's foot in it. Terry Brown of Detroit has heard it. But then Terry jumped over 14 barrels for a distance of 25 feet, 11 inches, to retain his barrel jumping title. That's it. He gets his trophy from another champ, Rocky Marciano. Secluded on the Saclay Plateau, not far from Paris, is one of the largest nuclear centers in Western Europe. Out of the atomic pile come the radioactive isotopes, which are prepared by remote control for shipment to scientific establishments all over Europe, where they will be used for research. The center assumes particular significance, since it may benefit from President Eisenhower's recently announced plan to share atomic data with our allies. Electric power is stepped up to 25 million volts. Scientists working the project go through exhaustive screening before they are cleared. Here, heavy water is poured into the atomic pile to set up reaction that will go on almost indefinitely. Now almost complete, the cyclotron with 25 million volts at its disposal is expected to unlock many new atomic secrets. And one of the secrets is what happened to the man's belt. With a cyclotron, you never know. But with the expanding chain of atomic knowledge, it is safe to say they'll find out. A new life opens for 82 refugees from oppression behind the Iron Curtain, arriving at New York's Idlewild International Airport on a plane chartered by the Intergovernmental Committee for European Migration. Many of them children, they face a new and strange land, but they face it without fear. The ever-present fear that impelled them to slip across the red patrol borders of East Europe. The risks were many, but worth it, so that children might grow up in freedom. Years of tyranny are ended. Safety is the keynote of the new Lockheed Jet Trainer. Student and instructor both have a full set of navigational and electronic aids. Despite its 600 mile an hour speed, the new trainer is one of the most stable planes now in Army use. With full circle visibility, the trainer gives the student excellent practice in formation flying. And when the crucial landing time arrives at the Burbank airport, a chute breaks the plane to an easy and short stop. A trainer that makes America's schoolroom of the sky a better and safer place to fly. The highly acclaimed picture Genevieve makes its New York bow before an array of glittering personalities, some of whom arrive in vintage cars which form part of the film's theme. Eva Gabor and her mother are among the first to depart from the parade of ancient automobiles, which draw up with a flourish at the theater. Next among screen and stage notables are Conrad Nagel and his wife. And they're followed by opera diva Mimi Benzel and her husband. And at the microphone, Maggie McNellis and Gloria Swanson hold forth for the launching of one of the season's great movies, Genevieve. 